Hey, yo, it's Brian here. Today, going to be talking about the San Francisco 49ers, as always, doing another top three video. This time, going to the NFL draft again, talking about my man, my personal favorite defensive lineman, Josh Allen. Yes, the guy from Kentucky. I rave about this guy all the time, ever since talking about the draft for the edge rusher position. I did a top three video on this, and I put him at number one. I would still put him at number one for the top edge rusher slash defensive lineman for my personal pick as the number two overall pick. And I'm going to be giving you three reasons why the 49ers should pick him at number two. Some of you guys might love him. Some of you guys might not think he's the right fit for the Niners, but I'll give you my reasons why I like him and why the Niners should draft him. Going to be talking about that. Should be a fun one. Hope you guys enjoy this. Before I get the video started, please like and subscribe to support my channel. That would definitely help me out a lot. Click that bell notification to get notified of future videos. Share this video. Share this channel with other Niner faithfuls. Go fund me page. I got a little bit more donations. If you haven't donated yet, you guys do as much as you can. That would be much appreciated. Don't think about me. Think about the children. This is who it's for, for this whole cause. And I hope you guys do donate. And that would be much appreciative. Again, thank you guys so much if you donate. If you can't, then that's okay. But hopefully we can get to our goal of $350 as a team by the end of the month. And I will be donating $150 of my own money. That's it. Let's get this video started. The top three reasons why the Fortnite should draft defensive lineman, edge rusher, Josh Allen, Kentucky. Number three, being relatively healthy. For his whole career in Kentucky, he has not had a significant injury that I know of. No torn ACL, no torn Achilles or anything like that. Anything significant that would warrant you to miss time playing football. And I think that's a very big advantage for him over Nick Bosa. Bosa, although it was a, just a core muscle injury, it wasn't anything too significant. Still, being banged up a little bit, I think that does not bode well coming into the NFL. Because you're going to get banged up big time in the NFL. You think college was getting hit a lot. Man, in the NFL, you're going to get hit even more. That's a little bit concerning. And coming into the draft, if if you're fully healthy as much as possible like Allen is right now, I think that's a big advantage. He can go through all the practices, OTAs, training camp, get into the season completely healthy. I know injuries can happen pretty much any time, but just being able to come into the draft, being fully healthy, not having any problems, I think that's a big advantage right there. That's an enticing reason why the 49ers should draft Allen over Bosa if they wanted to choose between those two. I don't know. That's just me. Injuries, they're always a part of the game, but if you can come in completely healthy as much as possible, I think that's a big advantage. Williams, he's also been healthy for the most part in Alabama. That's a big advantage right there. They do want to draft him. So yeah, injuries being fully healthy for Josh Allen. I think that's a big case for him to be drafted number two overall. Number two, going back to college. This was a very big risk for Allen to go back to Kentucky in his senior year and play another year of college football because you're giving up a lot of things going to the NFL. You're giving up money. You're risking injury in college when you're not getting paid to do it. And yeah, I mean, to be able to do that with success, have a career year in Kentucky and be a top three prospect in this year's draft, that is freaking amazing right there. I got to give Allen a lot of credit for doing that because not a lot of players would do that. A lot of players would have a pretty good year, junior year, or redshirt sophomore year and decide to forego their last year of eligibility and go to the NFL. I respect them right there because, you know, college is kind of BS in my opinion in terms of college not paying athletes some way, shape, or form. For Allen to do that, I got to give him his mad props and he's been motivated by his son. I mean, that too, when you have a son, you want to go to the NFL and get paid, but he decided to stay another year, play some more football in Kentucky, master his game, get better at the game, get some more tape, improve his stock, and he was able to do all that. Staying in college for another year, giving up money, giving up a lot of that stuff for Allen. I think it was better for him long term, and now he's a top three prospect in this year's NFL draft. We might take him with the number two overall pick because of that. Finally, coming in at number one as the reason why the 49ers should draft Josh Allen with the number two overall pick is his versatility as a player. This guy could do pretty much everything. He could play 4-3 defensive end. He could play 3-4 outside linebacker. When you're versatile, you can do a lot of things for your football team. And Kyle Shanahan, as a head coach, he always stresses his players to be versatile, being able to do multiple positions. And this guy can do multiple positions. I mean, you see his tape at Kentucky. A lot of the times, I mean, it's his 3-4 outside linebacker. But he could get up on the edge, get his hands in the dirt get to the quarterback and we've seen that so many times in Kentucky especially last year in his senior year his statistics right here from his last year 21 and a half tackles for losses 17 sacks just wow freaking impressive right there that is a lot to do for a defensive lineman and he's done a fantastic job for that some people are concerned that can he play 4-3 defensive end most of the time in a 4-3 defense because he played 3-4 outside linebacker but I think he can as I said his tape he can get to the line of scrimmage he can put his hands in the dirt and get to the quarterback also he can do pass coverage that's why he's an outside linebacker too is he can drop back in coverage and make some plays as well you're getting pretty much two position guys in one 
person. And that's what I love about Al. I mean, he can be a boomer bust, but for me in the draft, I think he's more of a boom. As I keep saying in my past videos talking about him, whoever drafts this guy, I think they're going to be very happy with this guy because he's motivated. He's very talented. He has a lot of heart. He shows a lot of big plays, and I think he can do that. The biggest thing is he can get to the quarterback. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Being able to see him probably DeForest Buckner and D Ford as a defensive lineman, that would be freaking awesome right there. He's my personal pick, in my opinion, at the top guy for the 49ers. Please let me know what you think about Josh Allen. Should we draft this guy? Should we not draft this guy? Please, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. And if you guys like this, please like and subscribe to support my channel. That would definitely help me out a lot. And I'll be catching you guys up tomorrow on Saturday when I talk about who I think the 49ers are in love with out of the three prospects I talked about this week. I'll see y'all then. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a good rest of your day. Go Niners all day.